And so I think it's also important to go back to that moment in 2013 when Shinzo Abe stood in front of the International Olympic Committee as they prepared to cast their votes. And he was asked about what was going on in Fukushima. After all, they had only recently experienced the triple whammy earthquake tsunami and nuclear meltdown. And so he was asked about that. Will this affect the Tokyo Olympics in any way? And at the time, the prime minister said everything was, quote unquote, under control. Well, if you actually went to Fukushima at that time, you would know that things were absolutely not under control. I traveled there in July 2019, uh, where I met with everyday people on the streets, elected officials in the area, journalists that were there. And they said that even in 2019, things were not, quote unquote, under control. And so that was one of the foundational issues, uh, was a mistruth, if you will, on the part of Mr. Abe. The second mistruth, which uh, forms the foundation of Tokyo 2020, is the fact that they called it a recovery games, as we've heard. In fact, I interviewed numerous people, including professors in Japan, who have argued that, in fact, hosting the Olympics in Tokyo diverted precious resources from the affected areas from that triple whammy disaster, and instead diverted them to Tokyo to help get prepared for the Olympic Games. 